emotion. If human beings do not feel emotion, there is no commitment to action. The step in your mind, the step for all of you, of moving from a deciding that something is a good idea <coughs> to taking an actual physical symbolic step can only happen when emotion is attached to the action. So if it's been hard for you to stick to an exercise regime, to stick to a diet, it's often because what's lacking is connecting a very strong emotion into that action. When I studied psychology, undergraduate at Nottingham, we had a professor who was, I think, the, the department weird professor. I think all psychology departments have on staff one truly weird professor. And if any other department ever comes in asking questions about what they do, this professor is wheeled out in order to so describe in crazy ways what's going on that the other people move away thinking, we don't really want to get involved here. And the freaky professor at my university, he was interested in hypnosis and brain damage. These were his two things that he was very interested in. His office, I remember going into his office, just getting from the door of his office to the seat was dangerous. There were so many piles of papers stacked. There was only a little route that got you to the chair that you could sit in as a student or in behind his desk. And all the walls around the room were covered with eggshell cartons. Because he had this thing that the sounds needed not to, but to bounce off the walls. So this was a, a sound-proofed piles of paper this high room and a bald, strange-looking old professor. And what he was interested in were cases of brain damage. And he loved discovering new cases where, through a stroke, through a shotgun injury, somebody caused a piece of their brain to die, to go away, to not be there anymore. Because the way the psychologists worked out what bits of the brain did which things is by finding people who tried to kill themselves, blown off this bit of the brain, and go, well, what can't they do anymore? And there was a particular case of a businessman. And this businessman had been very successful, had very high IQ, was very good at pros and cons of any decision. And he was pros, cons, look at the analysis, take a decision, commit, move on. And this particular businessman, when he had the stroke, <coughs> The piece of the brain that was lost in the stroke was half of his amygdala. And after this stroke, he recovered. His IQ remained the same. His ability to do pros and cons on any business decision remained the same. But a year and a half later, he went bankrupt. Because he was unable to ever stop analysis. He was never able to move from the process of analysis to committing to taking action. The amygdala, the turning of an idea into an emotion, is the moment that someone will commit to take action. If you cannot turn an audience into an action, into an emotion, an audience will not do something new. They will do something they were already going to do but they will not commit to a new action.